Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Get Master Chris in the house. I've got no time to joke around today. I'm doing a quicker, more condensed version of the live stream I did a few days ago of uh, creating your own Git server on a, on a bare uh, Debian Linux server. So we're going to jump right into it. All I've done in preparation is I've taken a, a domain that I already own, and I've pointed it at the, a server that I provisioned just for this purpose, which I'm going to take down after this video is done. So basically, um, you just set up an A record at your at your uh, DNS provider, your domain registrar. That's all we've done here. And uh, so I'm actually going to log into the server SSH root at uh, um, oh git master dot me. That, that's the domain name. So basically, you should be able to do that. And you want to hit yes, because uh, it's going to add this to your um, your local SSH. All right, so now we're logged in as root. So before I do anything, I'm going to apt update. Let's see, maybe I'm going to make this text a little smaller. Okay, so apt update and then apt install git. And while we're here, we're going to install a few other things because we're actually going to do the, the git front end as well, git web on nginx. Uh, we're going to do the whole thing here. So you'll be actually be able to look at your repositories and things with an interface. Um, that's optional. You don't have to do it. So actually, uh, yeah, maybe we'll save that for the end. Uh, for now, we'll, we'll just keep going on uh, setting up the server itself. Uh, OK, so um, SSH keys. Yeah, you just want to make sure you, you have um, your, your SSH key on the Git user. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, add user, git. You can call this user whatever you want. Um, git is fine. The password doesn't matter because uh, we're going to be using SSH keys to log in. Uh, so you just have to match. Okay. None of this stuff matters either. Yes, it's correct. Uh, so let's, let's become the git user. Cool, that works. Um, all right. So what is next? Uh, okay. Take our SSH directory. Let's chmod 700 the SSH directory. We want the proper security here. We're going to make a file called authorized underscore keys in the SSH directory. All right, that's ready. And uh, we want to uh, chmod 600 it. All right, that's good. And now um, I'm just going to put a, um, a public key in that file. So let's actually, um, instead of uh, installing Emacs, we can just use nano. Authorized keys. Make sure you're using your, your public key. Usually they'll be, you know, they'll have um, a dot pub at the end, you know, it'll be shorter than the, the private key, just make sure you're, you're using the right one. Okay, so that should be good. All right, so the public key is now on the server for the git user, meaning we can log in as the git user, uh, but we won't be logging into the server with the git user. This is just for git to make the connection. Um, all of this commits will be signed by the, you know, the, the person whose name as the person who's committing it in their Git configuration. So uh, that's, this is not, they're not all going to be commits made by Git. Uh, okay, so let's actually, let's exit the Git user really quick and um, uh, make make ourselves a, a Git repository. I usually, as I said before, I put these in a, a folder called um, uh, varlib slash Git. I believe this is the, the default directory that, um, that the, the Git web program uses, we're going to install at the end. So I just use that as well. Um, you could probably have it in another directory, but it, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so while we're here, though, we are going to make a directory. Um, no, actually, let's just let's just um, give ownership of that directory to the Git user. So that'll be chown git colon git uh, var lib git. Okay. So now, if we switch back to the to the Git user, we should be able to um, cd into varlib git uh, 
or actually we can just make the directory. So make the directory var slash lib slash git, um, you know, whatever you want, uh, project.git. Cool. Oh, we had to CD into it anyway. So once you've made that directory, um, that's going to be the Git repository here. There's nothing in it right now, um, but uh, just make sure to end it with .git because I, I believe that's important for Git to, to recognize it. So just make sure to do that. Uh, okay, so project.git. So we do uh, git uh, initialize or uh, init, as some people say, uh, tac tac bear to create a bear repository in that directory. All right, so there it is. Uh, we'll be able to clone this uh, directory down and you know start doing git stuff with it. Let, let's do let's make sure for the people who are not going to stick around to do the the git web portion of this, let's uh, go ahead and I'll show you how this this server now works now because you now effectively have a, a git server. So so why don't we do this? Let's CD into the temp directory and you can do git clone ssh uh, colon slash slash uh, git at gitmaster.me colon var slash lib slash git uh, project dot git and um, oh oh so I, from the from the previous demonstration I already have uh, something called project uh, a directory called project but uh, we can actually we can erase that or we can do what I did last time, which is showing you that after you do this, you can you can name whatever directory you want to put it in. So you can put it in a, doc, in a document called, uh, you know, my slash website or a directory rather. So so now you have in a folder called um, my dash website, you have your uh, basically a git working directory. So you can do you know, git status. There's no commits. Uh, nothing's in there yet. Um, we can add a file, uh, file.txt. Now, if we do the git status again, or git st, you see a file's been added. We can git add tag a everything, git commit tag am, yeah, we'll just call it the initial commit. That's all been committed. Now you can do your git push um, origin master. Uh, what this is is basically because we already cloned this from the server there's already a repository destination with our url called origin and we're sending the master branch up to it with this push so there it is all working so now you have a functioning fully functional um git server with um with ssh that you can connect to and do all your git work you can push and pull if you want to add other people just have them give you their their public key, add it to the authorized keys files like I showed you, and they'll be able to to work along with you. So now that we've done that, we can actually do the the front end portion where if, if you want to see your repositories in a nice little git git web interface, uh, we can do that as not, uh, do that as well right now. So let's SSH back into um, root at gitmaster.me this and let's uh, do the um, all of the cool nginx installation now so we've already installed git we have to do an apt install git web give that a second and we have to do an apt install fcgi wrap oh sorry if that was too fast it's fcgi wrap uh I, i'll have i'll have a link to these instructions in the in the description uh all right in the next apt install nginx for web server so now there's um oh was there an is there an issue with nginx let's see Looks like it was installed Cross our fingers and hope it works. So the the default configuration file for for nginx uh, we can do cd uh, etsy slash nginx uh, sites enabled. Let's see. All right. So that's the default. Let's uh, let's rm the the default and uh, let's let's create. Um, why not uh, 
make a config file called git serve. So now I've set up a file called git serve. Let's nano git serve. Let's drop this configuration into it. As I mentioned, I'll, I'll have all of this um, listed, but, but just for sake of it here. So all we need to do is replace instances of example.com with our domain, which is uh, gitmaster.me. So let's make sure we've got all of them. We need that. Let's uh, let's maybe separate this. Try it again. All right, everybody, I'm back. Uh, not sure what caused the Nginx error, but it seems to be working fine now. So uh, I'm just going to install an SSL with, uh, with CertBot really quick so that you'll have just about everything you need. It, this should automatically um, configure an SSL to work on your, um, on your existing uh, Nginx configuration. So um, what we're going to do is uh, apt install CertBot. That should go fine. And then there is a CertBot Nginx plugin. We want to make sure we install that. So apt install uh, Python CertBot Nginx. Now we should be able to do uh, CertBot tac tac Nginx. And OK, so email address. Um, uh, we're going to use joe at example.com. You may want to use your actual address. Uh, agree to the terms. Um, oh, invalid email address. Okay, I'm going to put in an actual email address. Oh, well, there's... You all know my email. I don't think it's a secret, but whatever. Okay, so do we want do we want news? Uh, no, that's we don't need news. Um, okay, so it detected. You see, activate HTTPS for gitmaster.me number one. Let's do that. Obtaining certificate verification. This is it's going to install a Let's Encrypt SSL. Uh, that's what the Certbot does. Um, okay, yes, we want it to do a redirect. So number two. All right, so that should be all we need. Let's uh, let's bring on a browser now and see if we did everything correct. So you should be able to go now to your domain. Uh, mine is gitmaster.me, and there we go. Uh, Project.git was the project we set up. You see on the master branch, we only had one commit so far. Uh, we just created the file. The file is blank right now, but you'd be able to look at it if it was not blank. Um, yeah, project.git. Uh, what you see here under description, it's an unnamed, uh, you just edit the file description in your in your git files. I, I, can, I can show you that really quick. So cd r slash lib slash git project.git. Um, let's see. Uh, so nano description. It's not unnamed. It's my project. Save that. Save it. So now when you when you reload, uh, the description is this my project. Uh, so all of your projects are, of course, on the document root here. And this my project. So there you go. Uh, quick and dirty. Um, that is how you set up your own actual private Git server with the, the Git web uh, front end here, which actually lets you look at your projects and do all kinds of fancy things. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, my return visitors, uh, all of you folks, uh, I really appreciate your 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 wonderful comments and your your smashing of the like button and your subscribing. Uh, I appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful. Uh, if you have any suggestions or any ways to uh, to improve this, I'm sure I missed a few things, like we didn't set up a, a UFW firewall or any of that. But this is not a complete how to set up a website video. This was just how to set up your Git server and, um, and Git web. So uh, other stuff that we can do, but thanks for watching.
I'll see you guys next time.